Hey guys, we're going to create part number 19, our movable finger, for our hydraulic arm assembly. So when looking at the instructions, the movable finger is going to be this lower portion of the drawing. So just like we did with the fixed finger, we're going to have to start off with a rough rectangle, and then we're going to add all these features to it, like the angled edge and the hole and the large hole in the center. So let's start off with the rough rectangle. First thing we need to do is find the height of our object, and in this situation, it gives us the height of both fingers put together, which is 3.25. Now we only want half of that, so by opening up your calculator, you can do some quick math if you need the assistance, and you can do 3.25 divided by 2, which will be half, and you get 1.625, which is our height. Now we also want to look at the length of the rectangle, and that is 3.5 as you see down here at the bottom of the screen. So let's go to our Inventor program and create a new part file. And we're going to create a sketch so we can design our little rectangle. Here's the rectangle feature. We're going to start right here in the center and drag it up. And the length was 3.5 and the height was 1.625. Push enter. Zoom out a little bit. And there's our rough rectangle. Let's go back to the instructions to see how far we need to extrude that rectangle. Looking over on the right hand side, we can see the right side view of our rectangle and, or our finger, I should say, and we can see it's 0.375 for the depth. So let's go back and add that to ours. We're going to finish the sketch over here. Change the view so you can see it a little bit better. And we're going to extrude the face of that away from us. 0.375 and there she is there's our rectangle that we're going to start adding features to let's go back to it and let's add this whole feature that's one's pretty easy to add back here at the back of the rec back of the movable finger and this whole feature the center of it is 0.375 from the top edge and I found that information right here 0.375 you can see it over here line to line 0.375 now from the back edge to the center of the circle, I need to look down here at the bottom, and it is also 0.375. Finally, I'm going to look at the diameter of the circle, and if I trace this up here, it says diameter is 0.2542 holes. So let's go ahead and add that hole feature to our inventor file. So we'll add the hole by clicking on hole, and in the upper left corner, I'm going to try to guesstimate where it should be. And the radius or the diameter already goes to 0.25, and all you have to do is add the reference points. Reference point number one, right here, we'll do from the bottom edge down here. Or actually the top edge. It is 0.375, and reference point number two from the back edge is also 0.375. Enter, and there is our hole. Let's go back to the picture, and we are going to add this rectangle, and we are going to extrude that from our picture. And the rectangle starts at 0 0.375 from the back edge and it is 0.625 from the bottom. So I'm going to create a rough sketch of a rectangle and then extrude it. So back to the inventor program we have to create a new sketch on the face and I'm on the rectangle feature I'm going to start down in the corner and we are at 0.375 with a height of 0.625 and there's our rectangle. I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude it off of there. I'm going to remove the whole thing. And there. Okay, now that we removed the rectangle, we are going to add this big hole feature to the movable finger. And looking at the instructions, the center of that hole is 2 from the back edge and it has a diameter of 2. So back in Inventor, we'll choose the hole feature and I want to place it up on this top lip here and it has a 
diameter of two, and we're going to place one reference point from the back edge here, and it is going to be two from the back. And when you push apply, your hole is complete. So we only have two more things to do now. One is adding fillets to this back edge here and slicing off a chunk from the front right here. So let's go ahead and slice off that piece in the front. Let's look back at the directions. We're just going to draw a line and then add dimensions to it. And that line is 0.25 from the bottom and 1.25 from the front. And we can extrude it off. So back in Inventor, we're going to create a new sketch on the face. I'm going to choose the line feature. I'm going to draw a line from edge to edge. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to dimension that line. And from the top to the tip of the line is 0.25. And from the front to the other end of the line is 1.25. And we can finish the sketch and we can extrude that piece off of there. Okay, the last thing we need to do is add fillets to the back edge to give it that curved look. So in the instructions you can see it's curved here and if we trace that curve up it has a radius of 0.375. Let's go back here and we're going to click the fillet feature. We're going to choose the upper ang upper edge there and the bottom edge in there and make sure it says 0.375 and mine does and we're going to apply it and then you are done with your movable finger. It should look just like this. Make sure you save and that is called part 19 movable finger and then you are complete